The beat go off? Hey. Hey. I up it, then my heat go off? Bang. Make sure y'all hit that sub button and turn those notifications on because I got more coming for y'all. And follow me on Twitter as well. Now today, I'm about to combine the Max Badge glitch, the VC glitch, and the Cat Breaker glitch for y'all in one video. And pretty much show y'all how to do it all at once in the most efficient fashion. So if you need any one of these glitches to work for you, this is the video you need to watch right now. So y'all make sure y'all hit that like button and know that I just did this so this for sure works. And I know a lot of y'all gonna take advantage of having a lot of saved data. So if you're gonna do that with the USB method on PS4, this is really gonna help y'all out tremendously. And I also know it's a good amount of y'all who just like doing normal glitches where you ain't gotta do too much outside of NBA 2K. And y'all not trying to do console. all the extra stuff with USBs and get all those files. I understand that that's not for everybody, but this here, everybody can do this. I can do it. It works. You're going to get VC, you're going to get badges, and you can get cap breakers every 24 hours. So as you can see, I'm starting off. I'm getting my badge progress. So all that stacking up, I had already had a save data to be able to ask out the sim with VC from an older video. But if you definitely need to know how to set it up. So I'm going to tell y'all everything y'all need. And I have done videos on everything y'all need, so I'll put links in the description of how you can set up the badge glitch and how you get your VC endorsement. Because you definitely need your VC endorsement and you definitely need a my player in which you have already saved and quit out of a game in the second half when you're able to ask out the sim with VC. That's as simple as it is. But I'm going to go ahead and walk y'all through how to get the badges and the VC at the same time. Now, keep in mind you can only do the VC glitch up to three times, so you'll only be getting 15,000 per my player so if this is you're doing this on one my player it's only worth for doing it for the vc three times now you don't have to do this for the vc you can do the vc glitch straight up without doing the whole batch glitch method but this is just to show y'all that y'all can do them both pretty much at the same time so basically if you have the badges you're working on the badges you might as well get the vc while you're working on them you feel what i'm saying now you want to go to the training facility do a drill of course and once you do that drill then you're going to open up your endorsement and then for Xbox, you're going to go to Manage Game and Add-ons and Delete Save Data. For PS4, you can go to Application Save Data Management. And y'all see. Now, after that, I'll go right to my Foot Locker endorsement, my 5000 VC. So y'all definitely will need to have that endorsement if y'all don't already have it. And I'll go through it a couple times so y'all can see that my VC is currently stacking up. And I will give y'all a heads up because my VC check is going to be more than the VC I stacked up in this video because I had stacked it up previously already. So y'all going to see me get more VC than just the amount of times I'm doing the VC glitch in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and delete from console because I'm on Xbox One, PS4, application save data management. If you got PlayStation Plus, upload the file of the My Player to the cloud. If you got a USB, just choose the files that you're currently playing on and then you got it. You know, I also have showed PS4 as well, so y'all can definitely go watch the video on that too since I'm playing on Xbox. But I've been hooking y'all up on PS4 lately, bro. Y'all honestly got some of the best glitches. Especially with those files for mascots, especially with the USB where y'all can create multiple save datas of my players, of the same my player, and quickly rep up and get cap breakers. Like, y'all really got a lot going for y'all on PS4. I would definitely take advantage. Now, what's on Xbox, y'all always know I'm looking out for the newest stuff, man. I'm looking out for the newest VC glitch. I definitely feel like there is a way to stack it up over 15,000. I've been trying some stuff. I feel like I've done it, but... But I haven't done it consistently enough to drop a video and call it a banger. So I got to basically figure out how to do it every single time. I definitely feel like I have gotten over 15,000 a few times in which I feel like I didn't stack it up previously. But I just got to figure out maybe how I did that. So I'm definitely working on that right now, working on that currently. So y'all just be on the lookout because if I drop a new VC glitch, bro, it's going to be a banger most definitely. And as you can see, I'm already in the game. I already asked to send out with VC because it put me in right where we left off. You will notice my badge progress continue to go up and stack up from the last time I did it. So it is still working. Everything I show y'all, man, is definitely working. It can be done, especially if I'm showing y'all how to do it. But I'm not going to drop a video if I feel like it's not going to add no value to y'all's NBA 2K experience. Y'all know I want everybody out here to be balling. I want everybody out here to be hooping. And I want all y'all to have all the VC, all the badges, all the mascots. Have the most fun with the game y'all can possibly have. And y'all don't want y'all to be held back. You know what I'm saying? Especially with time constraints. I know a lot of people don't have as much time. So it's definitely tougher for some people to get certain badges, certain people to stack up VC. I know a lot of y'all don't want to spend money on VC. I mean, who does? But 
that's why I'm here, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely going to look out for y'all, bro, more than anybody that's doing this. I'm definitely going to have y'all best interest for the most part. Now, I know some of y'all going to want more, some of y'all going to want less. It's hard to please everybody 100%, because I know a lot of times y'all want simpler glitches when oftentimes they're not ones that are simple. I know sometimes y'all want more bangers, and they exist. It's just going to take y'all a few more steps, bro. But in my opinion, those bangers that require USBs, and uh, other files are the best in the game. You know what I'm saying? Now, they may seem more involved, but it's really not. It's really a matter of simply just moving files from one place to another. To be real, it's probably more steps in getting the endorsement and setting up the bash glitch itself other than just getting files and copying over or creating saved data files and overwriting them. Honestly, I know just some of y'all are not too familiar with that yet. And as I keep growing, keep progressing, I'll definitely show y'all step by steps of me doing stuff like that. Especially if it comes to Xbox. But there will come a point, like I keep telling y'all, I will get a PS4. And when things like that happen, I'll definitely show y'all step by step to where y'all could easily understand it, easily get the files. But until then, bro, I just got to show y'all what I got. And let y'all know if it works or not and verify it and certify everything y'all know how i'm rocking man but after you do your drill and after you go to your endorsement go to manage gaming add-ons make sure you delete from console xbox people do not delete from everywhere i have to emphasize that every time i show y'all because there's always those few people who make that mistake myself i have almost made that mistake but I know better. Now, I know I tell y'all, y'all can contact 2K support and get them y'all gamer tag, y'all PSN and all that or whatever. But I don't think I can contact 2K support and it's going to be the same. If I contact 2K support and they actually know who the great Densky is, that might be a little bit harder to get my account back. I might be doing them a favor if I accidentally delete from everywhere. Now, I don't really think they worried about me too much. They've been letting me help y'all a lot. Honestly, I think make us play the game more. So there is some sort of an advantage from 2K. Now, of course, maybe those people might not be buy BC, but if you're not going to buy BC, you're not going to buy BC anyways. You're just going to be grinding it out. So you might as well just get it faster. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I know the glitches help you out with y'all my players with the badges and the BC, but the main thing of it all, what it really helps us with, it just saves us time. Because I know a lot of us would eventually get those max badges anyways. A lot of us would eventually grind our my players to 85, 90, or however overall they want to get to. But we're really just speeding the time process up. Because if you're not going to buy BC, you're just not going to buy BC. You, they can't force nobody to buy BC to upgrade the player. Now, it does give us an opportunity to make more players. It makes the game more fun to get those badges, try different builds out. Because... You shouldn't have to play like $50 to create a player every single time, bro. I mean, that defeats the purpose of the game. You may make a build that you don't like. You should have the opportunity to be able to play and try different builds without having to grind from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Grinding from nothing, it's okay when the game first comes out, everybody on the same playing field. But in the middle of a year, you want to create a player, no badges. You got to grind the badges. You got to get lots of VC. You got to get animations jump shots learn how to play with them and people already out there with their builds max badges and stuff bro that's just too much of a grind in the middle of the 2k year but it's just you had an unfair advantage that's why so many people want badge glitches that's why so many people want bc glitches that's why so many people rock with me bro because they know how i'm coming bro i know how y'all are bro i know how it is but y'all can see my badges went up again um, I asked to send out as soon as I got put in, man. I, I don't be wasting no time when it comes to these glitches. I'm going to go back to the neighborhood. I'm going to go back to the Gatorade facility and all that. Now, I know some of y'all going to wonder why I didn't go to the practice facility and do a drill. But for some reason, when I go to the practice facility and I try to do the endorsement glitch, um, it doesn't give me the three dots. But when I try to go pick up my check, it gives me a blank check. For some reason, it's not giving me my VC. But So I just go to the training facility, hop on some equipment, and do the endorsement glitch there. Now, I'm going to go in here and pick up my check. And like I said, I did the glitch twice. So, that will be 10000 Now, I will have more than 10000 on my VC check because it's stacked up, I believe, for something I did previously. I was probably doing the glitch another day and I never officially went to go pick up the check. But keep in mind, you can do the VC glitch on each of my player three times. So, I did it twice. I could have done it one more time. But I just pretty much want to show y'all that y'all can get y'all badges and y'all can get y'all BC and y'all cap breakers once every 24 hours. So that's all three. Now I got 25,000 BC. That's quick. Like I said, it added 10,000 on probably from the last time that I did the glitch, which would be 15,000 plus 10. So that definitely makes sense. But at the same time, I feel like there's an opportunity 
for a new VC glitch where we can get over 15,000. Maybe if I can figure out what I did or because I definitely feel like there's been a couple times where I've gotten over 15,000. And I've heard that from some of y'all as well. I know a lot of y'all hit me up telling me that y'all have gotten over 15,000, but y'all don't understand why. So I do believe there is a way. But anyways, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, turn the notifications on. Until next time, man, Disky out.